Nothing can back it. Drop the classic. Drop the classic. Who established? Who established? That the magic. That the magic. It's all the magic. I want to just say like my name and then your name and then I mean we're both directors and owners right you can go you, you can yeah, go sure. for her. All right. <laughs> my name is Jesse Sayanko and uh, people call me Mr. Jesse and I am the owner and um, director of Diamond Dance Project and I'm Crystal Sayanko the kids here also call me Mrs. Crystal and I am also owner and director of Diamond Dance Project Diamond Dance Project is a dance facility, um, but we're also a nationally and internationally ranked dance studio. We like to educate on everything, the music, the choreography, just the lifestyle and art form that it is because... Like the culture. Yeah, the culture, yeah. the culture, because somebody on the outside world of what dance is doesn't really, really grasp or have the opportunity to grasp um, what it involves it's a whole nother world yeah <laughs> a lot of what i do is like background background stuff and making sure everything stays rolling but really like all of this was like his dream his passion for what he was doing and in that moment was incredible this is like it's always been his thing it, you know so and I've known that. I've known that. Everybody who meets him says that about him, too. <laughs> oh, that's kind of nice. It is. Nice. Okay. She's being too nice. She's, uh, she's actually, uh, we're the only studio on the peninsula that do hula. So we kind of like to bring our culture from Hawaii, um, our ohana, our, our aloha spirit, and through her, we're able to share that with the community. And now she has classes and uh, students of her own. I call, I'd say it all the time, they're my second set of parents. I love my parents, but like these guys, like they know me better than I know myself at this point. When I was younger, I remember so clearly, I was seven and I wanted to take dance classes. In our classes at school, it was like, what do you want to be when you grow up? I've always said dance teacher. I've never taken a different route. I've never fumbled. And so to get to have Mr. Jesse, Miss Crystal train me as a dancer and then teacher. And so I've known them as teacher. I've known them as mom and dad. I've known them as my mentor. So I've seen them, um, I've seen them love me. I've seen them be real hard on me, but I'm grateful for both. God sent them here for for whatever reason, from California, Hawaii, to come to sold out in Alaska. Like, it's a godsend, and I mean, it's made my dreams come true so far, so. Every experience I've had here at the studio has been amazing. I love going to competitions with my group. They're very supportive and loving, and it just makes me feel like a whole family with them. You just feel accepted, and that's what family is kind of all about. I honestly could have started my own studio a long time ago. We did. We did actually it. start one in Hawaii. Um, we moved away and a bunch of kids that was with, with one of my friends, um, she closed down the studio and they didn't have a place to, to dance anymore. The biggest roadblock at this moment in time is trying to keep everybody safe during this time. Um, we are an indoor sport um, facility. Mm -hmm. We are close contact. Um, and one of our biggest things here is to help bring everybody together, but still yet have a safe place for them to be. We've had families come in here, you know, post COVID shutdown and just say how thankful they are to be able to bring their child somewhere where they can do something and still be safe. So when parents are, you know, showing that, showing us their appreciation and saying like, hey, you know, thank you. Thank you for even taking this extra step to make sure that my child is safe. That's huge. Yeah. There's gonna be always people that try to always bring you down, but I think if you stay on a positive path, 
then there's no possible way you can go wrong. How can you hate on somebody that's so positive? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> what? He's giving food to the homeless. <laughs> Everybody has roadblocks, but I don't know. I, I feel like any roadblock we can always go through, especially when it's positive and there's understanding behind it. So, yeah. It's a toughie. We picked the diamond as our, our logo because every diamond is an individual. Like there's no one diamond um, that's the same as the other. And wherever that diamond is, it shines. At the studio, we're diamonds. And outside of the studio, we're the same person. I hope that our hard work and our passion shows through to where the community can see that. I already know that that's a fact because we work with Soldatna Chamber. Um, we work with the Love It Amp. We work with other performing companies here. So I do know that they do appreciate us. Um, and that's a big thing for, for other businesses and other performing um, companies to tell you and show you appreciation. I mean, that's a big, big thing. I just hope that we keep doing what we do so that the people in the community can just keep growing with the with the diversity and the culture that we can give you know what i mean they do like killing cancer on the keen eye and then they call us to be a part of that to me that speaks magnitude to the kind of organization we're portraying ourselves to be in the community so like every year we we have a routine uh, dedicated to cancer um our families have been directly impacted by uh, family members that have passed from cancer. We've always been fundraising. We have been trying to become a hope studio. I guess if anybody could help us out, maybe help help out the cause with yeah. that. I mean, that's yeah. a big thing. Yeah.